project cost or project budget. Yeah, project budget is the important word. And project budget versus management reserve. Now, this is the another confusing thing. So assuming my project based on my bottom up estimate and contingency reserve comes as a 500,000. And I asked my management and they approved it. So that became my cost baseline. So our story is over. Now, my management might be running two projects. The another project is also asking for 500,000. And the another project is B, project B also got approval. And that is also a cost baseline. So my management has, has invested 500, 500. It's a 1 million investment is already done. In my management budget for a one year, they also have a 200,000 left. They have a more money left. Now, some third project comes and says, give me that 200,000. I want to do it. Now, my management will say, guys, I don't want to get into a problem. These two projects are saying they need 500, 500 only. But looking at my assessment of uncertainty, I want to keep on top of their cost baseline 100,000 reserve for A project and another 100,000 reserve for B project. So I don't want to invest these remaining 200,000 anywhere. I am putting for each project 100,000 as a management reserve. So when I'm doing portfolio level budgeting, when I'm looking at an organization level budget allocation, from an organization perspective for a project, we have allocated 600,000, not 500,000, because 500,000 are coming as a cost baseline and 100,000 I have kept as a management reserve. So when we use the word project budget, it is from the perspective of portfolio. It is from the perspective of sponsors. And that project budget includes management reserve. But important parameter to keep in your mind from an exam perspective, that management reserve is not available to you as a project manager. You can access it with the help of some process, most likely a change control process. You need to go to a sponsor and say, you know, we are stuck. Our cost baselines are not getting achieved. We need more money. So sponsor will say, yeah, that's why I kept some reserve. OK, take it from here like that. Yeah. So maybe they read some justification and, and process documentation for it. But they will say, OK, this is something you can take it because we kept it for you uh, for your such kind of situations only. So that is something called management reserve. So most likely the management reserve will involve change control process. Yeah. Uh, most likely means because exactly it depends upon change control plan, but most likely it will be involving. And this is the money. Now, somebody will say, can as a project manager, I know uh, what is the management reserve? So if that is the question in the PMP exam, my answer is yes. Now, in your company, depends your enterprise environmental factor. Sometimes it is shared, sometimes it is not shared. But in general, if the question is not giving any clarity, I assume I do have a visibility about management reserve. Some people start thinking, if I know management reserve, I will probably start using it and misusing it. So always keep in mind, my goal is still cost baseline. Even if there is a management reserve,